Hey guys, another video here. Um, this time I'm just going to talk about some of the stash I got at this year's San Diego Comic Con 2011. <clears throat> you know, another crazy year, Comic Con. I only went for two days. Um, both days were crazy. And, uh, you know, for me, I like to go for the exclusives, of course, like a lot of the other people attending. Um, I'm very into the uh, sketchbooks and art books at the show. And, of course, the toys, but for me, I, I go for the uh, art and sketchbooks first. <clears throat> These are some of the books I picked up. I'm a big fan of Adam Hughes. Uh, this is this year's sketchbook signed by the man himself. Great colored pages, artwork throughout. I don't know, just dig his stuff. Really cool artwork. And, you know, he did a sketch for me in the back. It's supposed to be a red Sonya there. And um, I have an original piece up there. That's uh, one of my original Adam Hughes uh, pieces of art right there. Uh, Wonder Woman, of course. Um, <clears throat> other sketchbooks. This is by Terry Dodson. I uh, love his artwork, too. There's two books here. Um, Aaron Lepresti. Bruce Tim. You guys know him from uh, the Batman animated series and a bunch of the uh, DC-related uh, cartoons. Uh, great sketchbook there. Brandon Peterson, you know, he has some great technical drawings. Uh, you know, just some great pieces. A lot of uh, pinup babes. Um, <clears throat> Frank Cho, another all-time favorite. You know, again, he do he draws great women, and uh, I don't know. I like his artwork overall. Great, great figures. Great anatomy. Um, just awesome artist all the way around. Arthur Adams. You know, another classic uh, artist, still kicking ass up to this day. So this is his latest sketchbook. <coughs> and um, J. Scott Campbell, this is a bunch of his uh, Marvel artwork. So just great stuff, you know, all the way around. These are artists that I enjoy. Uh, yeah, another hardcover book by um, J. Scott Campbell. You know, of course, i got to get them signed since I'm there. So those are some of the art books I picked up. Uh, this was a cool one. Um, there was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but I missed out on that. This is the regular edition. Um, not cheap. It was 100 bucks, but <clears throat> this thing already goes for around 200 bucks and up on eBay. So, uh, you know, well worth it. And uh, this is one of my all-time favorite... Uh, Thor artist, uh, Walter Simonson, and uh, <clears throat> what's great about this book is that the pages were reproduced in uh, black and white, and not just regular black and white, but as if the original artwork was in front of you, you can see like, <clears throat> like you know, like all the pencil marks and white out, let me see if I can find an example, it's kind of hard to see, but here you can see how they kind of white it out on the cheek area. You know, so it looks like you actually have the original artwork in front of you, you know, you can see like the blue line and, you know, little markings there, like the red markers. So this is as close as you can get to owning the original artwork, which, you know, I can never do. This is just going to be too expensive, but just great if you're into art and <clears throat> seeing how the real uh, art pages looked. And definitely, you know, a must-have for me, anyways. <clears throat> Onto the toys, um, well, these are regular versions. I love the uh, Bishoujo line of figures. These are uh, figures based on artwork of Shunya Yamashita, favorite uh, anime and uh, manga artist of mine. And, you know, he did his renditions of the Marvel and DC Universe chicks. So these are the regular versions of um, Invisible Woman and Supergirl. And at San Diego, they had exclusive versions. Oh, there's something else. This is the uh, Invisible Woman San Diego Comic Con exclusive, limited to 500. Here she has shorter hair, you know, white uh, <coughs> white uh, bits in the costume, a lighter blue. A uh, little, you know, little variations in there compared to uh, this version like a darker blue with black trim long hair so that's kind of neat and uh, excuse me supergirl 
She's very different. Um, she has, you know, fists. And, of course, this is the evil Supergirl. Again, limited edition. 1,500 pieces. She's all in black. Evil Supergirl. This is the uh, regular edition. You can see her hands are opened. Um, you know, basic blue and red. Whereas this one is black. Darker red. So, evil Supergirl. Uh, Sideshow exclusive. Um, clone Commander. Um, definitely into the uh, Star Wars clones and military figures, so I'm probably going to stick to that. I'm going to have to slow down on all the other Star Wars guys. I love the aliens too, so maybe those. And then of course Hot Toys is coming out with all that stuff. So More money down the toilet. <clears throat> well, I don't know. If you're into collecting and you can afford it, go for it. Um, from Mattel, big Swamp Thing fan. I love the Swamp Thing. I love the uh, DC Universe. As you can tell, I have a bunch of stuff all over my room. Still going to organize that. But this is kind of cool, different packaging. This is, um, I guess, biodegradable. It's kind of like that stuff your uh, carton of eggs come in, like cardboard biodegradable thing. Um, oops, there, there's a swamp thing. He's all rubberized, much like your Hot Toys Leonidas and uh, Dutch from the Predator figures, you know, with a inner armature so you can bend the arms. And it's kind of oily, kind of nasty, actually. My fingers. Kind of oily, but he's cool. I love the Swamp Thing. So, that's him. Kind of a big figure if you compare him to the uh, other guy there. There's um, Samurai and... Uh, what the hell is his name? Eh, I'm blanking out right now. Um, also from Mattel, you have the Queen. And she comes with all this stuff, so you can switch her uh, clothing out and turn her into her uh, astronaut persona. And she comes with Cringer, the cowardly uh, version there, not the uh, crazy battle cat that came out last year. Um, what else? What else? Um, more Sideshow stuff. These are the uh, Predator AVP, I guess they're one-fourth scale helmets. <clears throat> I never got the big ones. I don't have room. So, you know, got these. They're kind of cool. I might sell them someday. I don't know if I have room for these either, but... You know, they're kind of neat. That's what they look like. And, um, you know, could probably put that on my uh, one-fourth scale neck of Predator or something like that. They don't really come off the base, as far as I know. They're kind of neat. So those are those AVP helmets. <clears throat> what else? What else? I got the uh, NECA Gort, or Guardian uh, Predator. You can see there. Um... And then, you know, these just came out. This is the uh, Elder Predator and the uh, Hound. So these are definitely cool figures, too. But this was the uh, San Diego Con exclusive. Pretty much the same body as the, uh, you know, the classic Predator. Just uh, different paint variations there and the helmet. So, you know, you can see all these guys. You know, a ton of Predators. You can see them all next to each other. And the Hound. I like the Hound. He's really articulated, you know, cool details, you know, and these aren't too fragile, so you can mess around with that, you know, here's the uh, Hot Toys version, you can see, a little bit more delicate, bigger, so, you know, I guess you can have it like, uh, this is the big daddy hound and, you know, his bitch, <laughs> or, uh, you know, a younger hound, so they can kind of go together, you know, and chase after their victims, so that's kind of neat, cheap alternative to a couple more hounds if you want to make a diorama. Um, of course, I have the, uh, you know, Secret Project from um, Hot Toys and Sideshow. That's the Mark IV. Um, that's it, you know. A bunch of other free stuff from San Diego. You know, a lot of free swag like the bags and giveaways, t-shirts, and all that other crap. But, oh man, just too much stuff. So, broke once again. Early Christmas, I'm going to be selling a lot of extra stuff I have on eBay. Not this stuff, but stuff I don't really need. And, you know, that's all in the name of collecting. You know, you pick up some new stuff, pass on some old stuff, and keep on going. And the mass just keeps growing. Insanity. <coughs> ah, 
good old drawing table, and that's where I make my money. Ah! Okay, guys. That's it. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.